All right, in this one, we're going to actually build our site. And Tableau is going to give you, I think it's like a one week or two week free trial if you want to try it out. Um, and then after that, then you got to pay. And I believe it is with the pricing, what was it again? So $42 build annually. So 42 times 12, it's roughly $500. I think this is in US dollar, right? So just don't forget to adjust that. Right, so if we go to the main site, we go products, we go Tableau online, we're brought to this page here, and we're going to go try it for free. And before you do this, be sure to just create a email account because that's what it's going to be linked to. Now, if you're working in your company, most likely you're going to use your, your company account or you can use your own personal one. So let's go ahead and try this. All right, and the test one I did is online dot test one at gmail.com all right so i just did a, a gmail account let's copy this because i'm lazy let's call this jellyman industries department oh what should i be oh let's do let's do finance all right job role let's say i'm a financial architect <laughs> Okay, postcode, uh, let's say 3000. Right, and phone number, let's say. Uh, eh, da, da, da. This is not my real number, so nobody call me. <laughs> All right, and we're not going to do the get desktop, uh, Tableau desktop because we already got it. So we go request free trial. Let's see if that works. Do, 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 do. So now it's thinking, waiting for Tableau.com. Okay, hang tight, we're creating the site. So this can take sometimes a few minutes or, oh, there you go, that was really quick. All right, once you have this part, then it's going to send you a confirmation email. So go to your Gmail or go to your company one. Sometimes it may take a few minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it might be. So just be patient. If you don't get it, then just use this customer support link. And if you can't find that, I believe if you go support online, you can lodge a ticket and then they'll take care of you. Okay, so I'm going to pause it for now. I'm going to go confirm the email and then we're going to and then I'm going to show you how to log into your site. After you create your site, you're going to get an email saying activate my site. And this is basically just to confirm that that actually is your email. And when you click on this link right here, it's going to take you to this page. And this page is to set up where actually your data is going to be stored, right? Which server. So we're going to go ahead and put our details in here, right? So choose a password. So this password, let's do the same as the actual login. Okay, name your site and let's call this um, Project Jellyman. Okay, and the site. So we have three locations here, right? Two of them are in the US. One is US West in Oregon, US East in Virginia, and the last one is in Europe, right? So you got Europe, West, Ireland, right? You can pick. Um, I have never really noticed any difference. Probably depends where you are. Probably check with your IT division if it is an issue with data privacy, which we will be covering later as well as to where should your data be stored. For now, let's just go to, let's go Virginia, okay? And then we go, I've agreed to these requirements and let's activate my site. And then we play the waiting game. I think I'll get KFC for lunch. I could go for like some chicken, some wicked wings, maybe some potato and gravy, some chips. This is what happens when I have to wait. I get hungry. Okay, we now have our site. So let's maximize this. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Right, and this is your site. You now have a Tableau platform. Again, this is going to be a trial. So you won't have it for, it, it's all the features, but it's just on trial. So you only have it for like a week or two weeks from memory. Um, before it deactivates. I think that's kind of how it works. Okay. We're not going to go into too much detail yet because I'm going to cover all the features kind of as we go on. But for the next set of tutorials, because we are going to be publishing some content, 
uh, we're going to create a few things just to get it, get it going. So let me describe to you how it works. These are your main tabs here on the left. And the ones you're, and the one you're really going to be using, or the ones, is probably these three. Okay, Explore lets you see everything that you got. Favorites is just that. You can tag the ones that are your favorites so you don't have to go looking for them all the time. And Recent is kind of self-explanatory. This is all your kind of site administration stuff. Who's using it? Who are my users? What are the groups? When are my jobs running? What are the schedules, subscriptions, all that kind of stuff? We will cover all of that. For now, let's go to Explore. And we're going to create a project. So we'll click on Explore. Okay. And you'll see that there are already projects here. This default one always comes with it, right? But if you open it up, I think it's just empty. There's nothing in there, right? So these are just folders, right? But the folders are kind of called projects. So projects is the highest view. Then within projects, you have workbooks. And then within those workbooks, you have views, right? Which are the individual dashboard sheets that you've designed, okay? Let's go into samples. There's actually a bunch of them here, I think. Here we go. We've already got some that are published. Now, I didn't publish this. This just kind of comes so you can see how it works. And why don't we actually have a look at this, All right? So if we click on regional, All right? So now you can see kind of the level we're at. So we're going from explore, right? Which is that explore samples, which is our project regional, which is the workbook. And now these are the individual sheets within that workbook. So let's go open them up, All right? So let's go open up obesity. And what you'll find with this is it pretty much looks like your Tableau desktop. The only difference is you have like a few more buttons, but in terms of interactivity, it's all the same. Let's have a look at Midwest. Okay. There we go. So all the interactivity is, is basically however you designed it on the dashboard. That's what you're going to get. And then you have as each of your sheets, instead of them being at the bottom in desktop mode, you'll see them here at the top. All right. And you can do all the same thing. So let's say I want to look at that. I can highlight things, I can view data, I can do all those things. So all pretty much the same. The one big difference between them, which I'll show you now, is in case you're playing with it. Let's say I do these, right? Let's say I turn those off. Let's say I go turn that off, right? And then I go keep only, right? If you did this in desktop mode, it's pretty much thinking that's what you want to present, right? Um, because it thinks you're designing. But in online view, it's interacting. Someone is just playing with your data. So let's say I'm a user and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Cool. You know, I'm interested in these data points. That's great. But I want to start fresh again. You can click on this button right here, which is called revert. All right. So if you click that, it just resets the page. So we usually have this challenge that we give to people um, because a lot of the times when we meet people, they're really nervous about using this technology. They're worried, oh, if I click something, I'll delete something or I'll break it or I'll move something or I'll do something unforeseen and just ruin everything, right? But the great thing about it is that it's a very controlled environment. If you're a user, right, and you haven't got any admin access, which they no one's going to give you if you're just a use only, no matter what you click, right, all these things they do, no, nothing's going to break. So we challenge people. It's like, if you can break it, break it. But I doubt you can break it. And out of the hundreds of people I've trained and, you know, deployed, no one has broke it yet, right? Barring some sort of uh, cybersecurity breach or something like that of an outside origin, you know, but internally, right, which also has never happened to me. But um, for someone just using it, have a play. Go nuts. Explore the data. Okay. All right. So... I'll let you have a play with that because you'll have your own version. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to Explore, which is this top left button here, and just go back to that main page. All right, we'll cover all those elements later. And what I want to do is create a new project. So I'm going to click here on Create, Create, Project, right? And the project I'm going to do is, um, let's just call it Budget. Right, And a good idea is to put some sort of description here. We will be covering data governance later in terms of traceability. Um, used to analyze, I'm just going to keep it simple, budget plans for 2020. Okay, And we go create. And we'll have one a folder now available. Again, as soon as you do it, if you have users on this platform, they will instantly see that folder. right? So it's instantaneous, not like 
the old days where I'd create all these files and until I email it out, no one has any idea the data exists. Okay, so we'll go budget and it's empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a dashboard and we're going to publish it to this site. And actually, before we finish off in this video, I should show you how to get to this page in case you accidentally log out or you sign out. All right. So let's say I sign out. I'm going to click on this icon in the top right and we're going to go sign out. All right. And I'm going to close this page. All right. I'm going to get rid of this. How do I get back to that? Okay. The easiest thing is type in Tableau Online Login. Right. You're going to see this online.tableau.com. Right. Click that and it'll take you to the sign on page. Now, I also recommend using Google Chrome. I've tried using Internet Explorer, um, the Microsoft Edge. It's not great for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Firefox is kind of okay. Uh, what was the other one? Vivaldi was okay. There's a lot of browsers that are okay. It just seems to be Internet Explorer that's a bit annoying. So let's log in again. Dot test one at gmail.com. And the password is. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Sign in. And if you've forgotten your password, you can use this forgot password feature. It will send you an email. You can reset it and you're kind of good to go. Sign in. And again, it will take us to our platform. And that's it. Very easy. All right, so we'll leave it there and we're going to go and create that dashboard. See you soon.